Coming up in this video, I've got a quick review of this. This is Hoxton banana flavoured rum. This is my first flavoured rum. Uh, I've been doing spiced rums up until now, and you could argue that spiced rums are flavoured rums, but spices are all kind of revolved around the same sort of similar lines, you know, all those traditional kind of Caribbean spices. This one is rum flavoured up with banana. Now, as I've noticed with a lot of these uh, spiced rums and flavoured rums that I've been doing on my channel, they've, they're a bit more lively than gin because they've got some cracking stories on the back of the bottles. Gin doesn't really have that. Gin's dull and boring. Uh, rums the fun. So let me read uh, what the back of this bottle says. Uh, so natural banana flavoured rum spirit drink. It is a proper 40% uh, um, so 80 proof if you're watching this in the States. Um, so it's not one of these liqueurs or anything like that. It's proper, proper rum. Now, here we go. Breaking all the conventions of flavour and combining ingredients and imagination. Hoxton Banana Rum is lovingly curated by East London drinks maverick Jerry Calabrese uh, using the finest ethically sourced uh, natural ingredients to obtain a unique drinking experience. Made with fresh and dried bananas, macerated with a blend of the finest hand-selected rums for up to five weeks. All right? So not kind of a marketing story, but a bit of background and kind of actually, you know, the whole banana thing makes you kind of buy into it and think, ooh, that sounds really tasty. Now a little background on Jerry Calabresi. Jerry is the guy that set up the Hoxton Pony. Um, kind of bar nightclub in uh, Shoreditch area of London. Uh, and he's the guy, he's, to my recollection, he's the guy that sort of created the first weird flavoured gin all the way back in 2011, so some eight years ago. And if you don't know what a gin is, it's um, a sort of pie, a grapefruit and coconut flavoured gin. So really quirky, really wacky, really wild, kind of like a Marmite flavour, you either love it or hate it. I have to say for me, um, I actually really like it, it's kind of a, a Malibu flavoured gin if you like, but for me it doesn't really go down too well on my tastings, my gin tasting nights. People want proper flavoured gin, whereas, so I would say the gin is more of a cocktail ingredient and I think much of what I've read about this, uh, I haven't tried this yet, but I think this is going to be the same. Now as with the last uh, spiced rum flavours that I did, the uh, the two swallows, they talk about the provenance of their base rums as well. Uh, this is kind of similar, we don't actually get the, uh, the distilleries that um, the, the, where the rums come from, but we have got the countries. We've got a bl uh, blend of uh, pot and column still rums in here, and we've got a blend of English rums and Spanish rums as well. So the three countries, or islands, whatever you want to call them, um, we've got in there, we've got Barbados, which is obviously the English style of rum. We've got the Dominican Republic, which is a Spanish style of rum, and we've got a Nicaraguan rum as well, which is another uh, Spanish style of rum. Right, let's go ahead and smell it. All I've done is sort of taken the little foil off there i haven't capped the bottle yet so i'll just pop that to one side i've never tasted this i've never smelt it i've got no idea what to expect i'm hoping for a really vibrant uh, banana flavored rum so we'll see all right there we go you certainly get that it's a big bold banana, uh, banana sort of aromas on the nose there. I also get, I, I don't like to really use this word because it's really hard to explain it, but if you're a rum lover, you'll know exactly what I mean. You get the real kind of rum funk going on with this. Real, real kind of massive rum funk. Really, really lovely smelling rum. Right, uh, let's pop a little bit in our tasting glass. Part to one side. If anything, now in the glass, the aroma of the funk sort of comes out a bit more. The banana kind of dulls down into the background. But I really can't wait to taste this. So, uh, quick ice cube in there. Swirl it around. I just like to try my rums just with a little bit of ice and that tiny, tiny bit of dilution. Right, here we go. So the first thing to note on this, it's a real subtle hint of banana. It's not a banana flavoured liqueur, it's not out and out, up in your face banana. You get very big sort of tropical notes there. 
and the banana just kind of subtly comes in the back. The finish is uh, really dry actually. It's not like the spice drums have been um, been trying. It's not like that at all. Really dry finish on the palette and you just kind of get that lingering banana on your lips and just on the sides of your throat, just down there. That is actually really, really lovely. I was totally expecting it to be a lot sweeter than what it actually is, but in a sense, in essence, this is a proper rum that's just kind of got that flavoured uh, sort of banana thing of it. Very reminiscent for me in a completely different way to uh, Plantation Stiggins Fancy Pineapple Rum. People that think that's going to be an out and out flavoured pineapple rum and it's not. It's a proper rum with a sort of subtle hint of pineapple going through it. This is the same. I can't wait to try this with mixers. What I've got is just set up over there. I've got all my mixes ready to go, so I'm just going to go off camera, uh, and when I come back, I'm going to tell you what my favourite mixes for this are. Right, I'm back. I've just tried it. As you can see, I've had a good, good sort of play around for this for the last half an hour or so. Really interesting, this one, actually. Really interesting. Um, we'll start at the top. Coke. Uh, as I've tried it with Coke, I did actually try it with these two as well. These are my two favourite uh, signature Cokes. Um, honestly, it was drinkable. Really nice, but uh, for me, that is not really, I, I think probably banana flavour. For me, it's not a rum and coke um, kind of rum, all right? So while it works, some people are going to like it. For me, uh, I didn't really enjoy it too much. Um, next up, I'm going to go straight away there because I thought out of all the mixes that I tried, uh, this is Schweppes uh, Muscovado Dark Spirit Mixer. I thought this, if you're going to make a highball, just a very, very simple serve, uh, the muscovado and the banana, I just thought worked an absolute treat. Um, by far and away, hands down, the best sort of mixer for me there. Uh, the ginger beers and the ginger ales, I tried all these. Where's the other one? Uh, we tried the old Jamaica as well. I've run out of fever tree uh, ginger beer, so I didn't get to try uh, the fever tree. But, you know, pleasant enough, really, really nice. But because... Um, that lacks a kind of sweetness that the spiced rums have got. Um, do you know what? It doesn't really work for me there. But here's something I want to share with you as well because um, I had a sneaky suspicion that this would work um, cracking. It's more of a cocktail rum than anything else. Now, the, t the, the two cocktails that really spring to mind that I haven't tried... I think this would be amazing in a banana daiquiri. I really do think that would be superb. The other obvious one, because of the tropical notes and the banana in there, is kind of a flip on a pina colada as well. So they're, they're the kind of two um, cocktails that you would probably you'll be your go-to, whether you're at home or your pubs and bars. So banana daiquiri and a pina colada with that as the base rum, because that has got the rum kick to it. But I wanted to try something with... Um, I've, as I've mentioned a couple of times in these videos now, I'm getting to that age where fizzy things don't really agree with me. So I've kind of got my punch grog kind of thing going on. And what I've created is a, a banana punch. Now this is very, very simple, okay? Sounds bizarre, uh, or sound bizarre to a lot of you, but all this is, is um, 15 ml of fresh lime juice, 30 ml of sugar syrup, uh, 50 ml of the rum and then uh, I've got a dash of Angostura bitters but then I've got a 75 ml of just bottled plain or you could use tap water okay not fizzy water just still water and I've made a punch and as you can see I've had a little sip I haven't garnished it normally with punches like this I would do kind of a grated nutmeg on there but this is absolutely amazing I really like this I could drink that literally all day long. And the thing that that kind of recipe does, the lime and the sugar uh, and the bitters, it just accentuates the banana. So for me, that actually turns it into more of a banana rum than what it actually does because all I get on the aftertaste is the kind of, is the banana and those tropical notes floating through. Really, really love that. So I'll run you through that recipe very quickly again. 15 ml of fresh lime juice, um, 30 ml of sugar syrup, 50 ml of the banana rum, uh, a dash of Angostura bitters, which you can get in most supermarkets, and then 75 ml of uh, still water. And I've just stirred it around. No shaking or anything like that. Just stirred it around. Uh, and you would, I would normally grate, um, dust some grated nutmeg over there as well. Stunning. So as a cocktail rum, 
I think that is absolutely lovely. That's my go-to for what I love to drink at home now. Still kind of low calories. You just got the rum in there. But I tell you, if you're looking to mix that, absolutely magical. Schweppes dark uh, Muscovado dark spirit mixer. Most supermarkets. Hoxton banana rum. Love it.